think what we want to achieve this evening, having made London smile by bringing all these beautiful elephants to London Street, is we want everybody here tonight to make the elephant smile. So they are on sale and we just want them to go for the biggest, biggest prizes. Uh, so we want generous bidding is basically the aim of the game and for everyone to have a fabulous time and not for it not to be a bog standard charity event, for it to be actually something very different. We've been making them in a sort of cow shed, life-size elephants for a few years and then we found these Dutch businessmen, Mike and Mark Spitz, and they had come at this concept of painted elephants and we've always wanted to use creativity to inspire people to help so that's what we went ahead and did. Well, I actually sort of 25 years ago fell in love with Elephant Tara, she's over there. I uh, got obsessed by Asian elephants, found out they were much more endangered than African elephant, in short words. Found the elephant family six years ago and then got into partnership with Elephant Parade and this is how it all started. So they are my passion, I just think they are amazing animals and I can't imagine a world without elephants. When uh, the lovely people at Elephant Family got in touch, they said, we're looking for designs that are quintessentially British and iconic to London, and they celebrate what London's all about, an elephant parade in London. So the idea of a, a London cab seemed pretty uh, relevant, and uh, that's how that came about. When I was there, uh, people that I've always seen people around it sort of being photographed next to it. That's always nice. It's sort of very gratifying to know your work is appreciated. I was approached by Mark Shand and um, I was asked if I would, um, you know, if I would, I would paint an elephant. What I want is, I want the buckler on the back of the elephant with his umbrella. Whether for a second that I think it would fetch that kind of money. I mean, I'm just bowled over. I mean, you, you, you've actually got me quite speechless. You know, um, it's been it's been a hell of a night. Thank you. 